Hello everyone and welcome back to Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. Now, last time out we got our fifth star. Fifth? Five? Five stars? Wee wee. Five stars. Um, and we ranked up some of our guys to ultra rank. And, did, uh, and we did some more troubles. Now, you might be wondering why we are here in Creepy Steeple. Not Creepy Steeple, what's it called? Twilight Town. Bit of a uh, Freudian slip there because we'll be going to, back to Creepy Steeple soon. Um, but we have a couple more troubles to do before we end up tr going to Poshley Heights. Now, the trouble we had, which I think we read last time, was to go to and talk with the mayor about something about, was it, was it a, a newsletter or something like that? I cannot remember. Uh, Mario, you accepted the trouble request. My, that is now that's something. I'd hoped you deliver this this Silver Club newsletter routing slip to the Great Tree Elder. I used to bring it myself, but this hip is really growling at me. Would you take it for me? Routing slip, Silver Club routine slip, it's so well used it's tattered. God knows what it is. But okay, and so we'll deliver this to the Poony Elder. So like like I said, we're gonna go, just gonna be a, there'll be a whole bunch of jump cuts here where we just go between these do uh, these things and do the whole troubles and we're, and bounce around from where we need to go. So without further ado, I'll uh leave you and we'll come back when we get to the Poony Elder. All right guys, here's the Poony Elder. Now we give him this. Hi, uh, hello there, Martio. Are you here to listen to me pontificate for a spell? Uh uh. Ah, uh, it's a Silver Club newsletter routing slip. You came here to give me this. Twilight Town's mayor sent you. Uh, my last youth, youth fountain bath was nice. Oh, my last youth fountain bath there was nice, I recall. Well, this slip needs to go to Paddleberg Mayor, but my hernia's acting up. Say now, could you take this to the mayor of Paddleberg for me? I'm counting on you. <sighs> <sighs> okay, then onwards to the Petalberg Mayor, I guess. Oh, yes. Uh, Kroop, I think his name is. Yeah, Kroop. Well, anyway, onwards to Petalberg. Right then, now we're at Kroop. Murphy, what can I do for you, young man? Ah, the Silver Club approval slip is set from the Pony Elder and that old so and so. That reminds me, that super blood pressure gauge I borrowed from her was great. Oh, it's a she. Well, I've been doing the wrong voice this whole time. Ah, oh, well. We live and learn. Uh, I'll try and reflect. I'll try and get it. I'll try and, uh, if we ever, if we ever play the, uh, the, the remake, well, uh, I'll certainly try and, uh, rectify that. Since I'm the last one to sign this, it just needs to go back to Twilight Town's mayor. <coughs> Sorry. But I seem to have caught a bit of a cold. Could you take it to Twilight Town? Uh, could you take it to Twilight Town, Mayor? Thanks, Murphy. Wonderful. So I guess we'll finish this off in Twilight Town. All right, back in Twilight Town. And back with it. Now we've filled the newsletter out, so Mad Hour. Here you go. Oh, hello, Mario. Did you deliver that last newsletter routing slip or what? The mayor of Petalberg has a cold? Well, tar nations and diddly dangits. Oh, you brought it back with you? Why, um, thanks. You're a lifesaver. Oh, and before I forget, here's your reward, Mario. Please take it. Coin. Lovely. We silver clubbers have been going strong for 20 years. With our slogan, age, what? We discuss longevity secrets and the like, you know. Maybe you'll join us in 20 years. <laughs> Solve the trouble. Right, and with that, I believe there is one more trouble as well. Also in Twilight Town, but we'll have to obviously get the trouble first. And through here we have the trouble center. I also found a cool little thing about this. We'll do this now just so I can show you guys. Uh, in the down in my downtime, while I was looking at while I was playing this, to get um see if we could get some any, any other badges. Uh, I want to speak to you 
and meet. Uh, I want you to meet and speak to someone for me. I'll tell you all about it in my house in Twilight Town. Uh, do it and do it right. Okay, and this is a bit of. This is something I didn't know. But whilst I was um, getting hyped for the remake, because I want to talk about the remake when we do have when I do get a chance, I came across this. Now if we. Obviously, you see the person that was meant to be in the trouble center now. There is no back door to this, is there? But if we do that, magical door appears. And it's none other than Gus is behind the trouble center. I don't think there's any star pieces here or anything like that good. But uh, yeah, we can talk to Gus. Wow, hey, what's the meaning of this? You found my secret way in? Dang. Look, a lot of sketchy, uh, oh, shall we say sketchy requests get submitted here. So we don't tell anyone that we're the ones running the trouble center, okay? Oh, that, sorry, no, not Gus, Goose. That's, that's Goose. Turns out the trouble center was being run by him and Ishnail's boys. He may look violent, but he's actually an intellectual. People surprise you, huh? Well, guess we have to go back to Twilight Town one more time. And find out who, oh, it was Eve, wasn't it? So I assume it's one of the lady ones, because, you know, Eve's are a uh, feminine name. But none the latter, we will, uh, get onto it. All right, back in Twilight Town, is it you? Uh, hey, you must really like this place, huh? No, not really. Well, you'll have to come see me then, right? Gosh, if that's the case, I don't know how to say this, but, uh, just not my type. Okay, well, it's not her. And there's only a limited amount of female ones in this town, so by process of elimination, must is it, is it the woman in here? Maybe. Oh Mario, you've accepted my trouble request. Well, it's a hard to, uh, it's hard to talk about in front of my children. Can we step outside? <gasps> is this do I have to find the dad? Am I going? Am I going to go on a Jerry Springer episode of my own? I need you to help me meet someone. His name is Podley, my former love. It was Podley. It was the bartender this whole time. We had the same dream to be stars to the musical stage. Shared our dreams and we shared a wonderful love for a time. In that cramped little apartment we huddled together, po uh, poor but happy. But when I finally got a part, uh, when I finally got a part in the broad room play as the leading lady, Podley left me. He left a quickly scrawled note that said only this. My dear, I would only dim your bright future. Farewell. Oh, Podley, why? My dream was always to be with you, not to be a star that shines alone. I wanted only to shine with him. Success was nothing without him. I left production um, while I was in while I was in rehearsal. I forgot about Podley and my dreams. I got married and lived the life of a housewife, happy in comfort, happy, happy in its quiet comforts. And now I'm surrounded by, by my beautiful children. My happiness is so complete, I have forgotten about those days. But when I heard a rumor that Podley was running a Chocola shop in Rogueport, could you please tell him I would like to see him again? Tell him that pure-hearted Eve has not forgotten her first love. Yes, pure-hearted Eve was my stage name. Please meet with Podley and ask, her, ask him how he feels about me. Please, Mario. Well then, uh, apparently not the Jeremy Kyle episode I was hoping for, but I guess we have to go back to Rogueport and talk to um, Podley. Now, Podley is the guy here, right? He's the guy behind the bar. Uh, welcome to Podley's shop. Uh, in, uh, in, uh, 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 I'll do it more. I'll do more parts like this. Welcome to Podley's shop, an intersection of human lives and drama, if you will. What's that you say? Hmm? What's it, Mario? Tell me. You look ser so serious. What? Eve? Do you know her? Do you not know her? I think he does. Long silences tell, uh, you know. Long silences tell all. Ah, uh, I know such person. Oh, no such person. 
Or perhaps you could tell this Eve person something, uh, tell her, uh, live in the moment. Is that all you needed? Because I'm a little busy. Okay, well that was clearly underwhelming. I guess we'll better go relay that news to Eve now? Always check if- Oh, you know what I should do because I didn't do it last time. Um, castaways return from the cursed island of Keyhole Key. With treasure, maybe? And what does it say on the back? Graffiti corner. Mustache guy is back from Keyhole Key. I wanna go. Who cares if I get cursed? Guy who wants to make some easy money. Well, that guy's definitely going to get cursed and I am going back to Twilight Town. Got it. Hi there. He doesn't know you, apparently. Um, really? Have you met with Polly? Really? What did he say? So Polly has forgotten about me? That's fine. I guess I was just feeling nostalgic. I'll probably forget about it. You know, I have these little ones to think of, so I have plenty to keep my mind busy. Mommy, so hungry. Food. We're having a feast tonight, kids. I have a special dinners from Zesty's shop. Mario, you have one too. A meteor meal. Food that restores 7 HP and gradually recovers even more. Thank you so much, Mario. You've breathed new life into this old girl's heart. Okay, and with that... Oh. Oh, that's interesting. Alright, just a little snafu there. But now we've got that out of the way. I must guess why we're here. I could buy a life room. I have the coins, don't I? Just... But there is another reason why I said I wanted to come here. And that is because, while I'm doing this, um, there is apparently something in Creepy Steeple. There is, in fact, a boss fight that I missed out on. Food that slowly re refills HP, you can't eat it alone. Uh, I think I'll save the meteor meal for now. I think the couple's cake will, might try out. But yeah, there is apparently something in a little boss fight in Creepy Steeple that I didn't know about. And apparently I get something for it as well. But uh, we'll cut here and we'll come back when I go back to Creepy Steeple and figure out... Oh well, go to where this boss fight is. Alright everyone, back in the Creepy Steeple. Now, there is a... Uh, like I said, there was a boss here that we need to... Yeah, it's an unf They just have to get a hold of a couple friends. Or a couple friends need to get a hold of us, I should say. Okay. And now we've done that. God damn it. Right, that was a failed attempt, but we'll try again. Basically, what we're meant to do is we're meant to swing the hammer. I believe so hard that we actually enrage the booze, and we just need a few of them to come down on us. And eventually... They get a bit perturbed. You, you said you'd be nice. Let's get him, guys. Which activates... A little mini-boss. Yeah. And now we have to face the big boo. I don't know how tough he is, by the way, so we're just going to find out this now. Uh, Tattle. Also, we've changed out our badges, but I can show that after we do this. That's an atomic boo. It's a giant boo made of uh, made up of t a ton of smaller boos. Max HP is 40, attack is 4, and defense is 0. Bing will try and smush smush us. It can also split up and turn sends and send hundreds of boos at us. When we attack, we might get so scared that we, can, uh, we get confused or can't move. Sure wouldn't want to see a thing like this standing behind me in the middle of the night. Creepy. Well, we have the facilities, so now let's do it. Oh, there's seven off, seven off his bar. 
Oh, is he, is he charging up? See, I like this. You can use Rally Wing um, to actually give Mario another attack. Which I kind of like, but I already have Multi Bonk. Basically, lets me do the same thing but with Goombella. Um... Damn it, screw that one up. Okay, and fair enough, he has attacks. Did they steal FP off me? Okay, and right, okay. Okay, and if we're doing that, I'm gonna go for a sweet treat. Just to get some health back. And get some FP as well. How the hell it didn't hit that mushroom, I don't know. But yeah, uh, I've been getting a bit hyped for the remake coming out. I know there's a bit of a, at the moment, there's a bit of um, anger in the fact that the game, the new one I should say, the remake, is capped at uh, 30 FPS. I'm, in my personal opinion, not that bothered about it. I know, obviously, I can see both sides of the argument, because uh, you can definitely... You can tell the difference between a 30 FPS game and a 60 FPS game, but does it impact the? Does it? But does it impact the um, the plot that much, or the actual gameplay? Well, we'll see. I don't think it will that much. So I, I personally, if I have the, uh, I'll, I, I I'm one of those who sees out sees a, if, see if I really have a pre-order game. I'll see if the game how it goes and see if it's good. But it looks fantastic. And it, the difference between 30 and 60 FPS, or F, to me at least, only ever seems to be a, uh, seems to be like a little bit of a difference in my personal opinion. I've never really, uh, you can, like I said, you can see the difference. You will be able to see the difference. You'll just not, it's just like, but it's not that much of a difference where you go, well, not buying the game off the back of it. Uh, brilliant. Does Mario mobilized? Okay, and cool. Doesn't matter because I'm about to uh, win. That's what you get for insulting me. And I get a level up off the back of it. Splendid. Uh, I think I'm going to keep going for the badge points because we're doing fine on FP and everything else. I really cannot moan. And... We did get, I told, I was told we do get something out of this. Thank you, YouTube and the algorithm for when I was looking up for stuff for the remake, I found this little video. It got lucky start when something good happens. So in, when make something good happen when you first enter battle. Okay, now we have got some new badge points, so we should have a look. Now I did change a little bit of our stuff up. Uh, we'll just pull that down there. I, I'm pretty sure I got a new badge. What was the new badge I got? So I remember getting it and putting it on. Um, we got FP drain. I believe that was in the mouse bad, the mouse store. I'm trying to think if we got anything else. Oh, it might have been simplifier we got as well. That was from the badge store as well. Those are the two I got in the meantime. Uh, but we have three badge points to give, and like I said, I've been switching out up our points. Uh, I took off um, a few of the badges to put on Flower Saver P, trying to save up stuff for that. But I think for now, since we got three more badge points, and it's not really a badge point which I'm looking at going, hmm, it's probably for the best. I think we'll probably go with Pretty Lucky, because that actually helps, and we'll go for Super Appeal, putting that back on. Okay, but that, I believe, is everything in Creepy Steeple. There's one more thing that I found I was looking for. Because if you remember last time, we, um, I was looking for boat sections at the end of the last, um, end of the last stream. And there is one more section I found. And, uh, I haven't been to where, it, I haven't seen where it leads yet, but I guess we're going to find out. So I guess we'll cut to there. And I'll see you guys in a moment. Because what we were looking for... Yeah, we are. Okay, cool. 
Uh, we need to go down to this side. Avoid this fella. Actually, if we... Never mind. I was going to say, have we got this fella yet? Because I know we faced one in the glitz pit, but I wanted to know if it's the same. Oh well. Sorry, Toad. Um, right. So, first things first. As it's a new person. Friend? I don't know. Who patrol? That's a Koopa Patrol, a Koopa Trooper who protects himself with spiked armor. Magic HP is 6, att attack is 4, and defense is 2. Attacks with its shell and with its head and sometimes charges up with, for, a, for a fierce move. Plus, if you take too long to win, it'll call in reinforcements. Yeah, sort of gnarly, huh? One of the worst uh, one of the worst of Bowser's guys. Um, Koopa Troopers dream of being Koopa Trolls. Uh, hey, by the way, what do you think Bowser's doing right now anyway? Eating? Uh, probably. Okay, get rid of the magic Koopa. Oh, and he do be charging. Um, I'm trying to think what would be the best. I'll go with Bobbery and his power. Let's try and do some damage. Do not give me the purple. Okay, do not give me the the shroom. Lovely. Right. Now, yes, I found one more, which was in this little cubby hole here. And now, if I can remember how to turn into a boat, it's not that. We can go through all these areas. Because if you notice, this passed through all the other sections where we were. Like I was saying, I know some people are annoyed that the frame rate is cut at 30 for Thousand Year Door Remake. Like I said, not that bothered. I see the diff I see why people do get angry over stuff like that, but I've never really seen it that much of an issue. I know another problem that they've had as well is, all that people have had as well, is that they've changed dialogue slightly. We're like, we're Goombella, we played it in this game, where Goombella get, I, I guess, get, oh, she does. She does get cat called and but oh well hello there i'll take my i'll take free shine sprites i don't mind if i do just gotta defeat all these guys i assume um another room in here huh wow but what's the significance of it an un undiscovered chamber in an unknown uh, a pur of unknown purpose this is why i love archaeology okay fine then Got a whole, of a whole load of spinniers to beat. Okay, and then. Now. Yeah, I go with the multi bounce. And kill them all! Yeah, I know that they've changed some dialogue slightly. Damn it. Doesn't really matter when I can just kill you in one hit, provided I hit all the action commands. And at least I get one whole star point for it. Or am I just gonna get perpetually hit now? Ooh. 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 Well, we're going to have to, uh... Take a rain check, because Miss Mouse is going to have some stealing to do. Alright. Good thing I kept you. Uh, which one is it? Kiss Thief? Yep. Press A, stop the gauge. Okay, and press A to stop the gauge. Oh damn, he got he got lucky. Cause if you don't know, if you don't know those things that they the badges that they got those guys have on are pretty lucky. I'm pretty lucky. P, I think. Uh, I guess I will. What will I do? What will I do? I don't know. <laughs> uh, everyone else is at full health apart from Joey. I was gonna go for a sweet treat just to get 
the um, get my FP back and get a little bit of health. But yeah, I noticed that they've changed some dialogue. I'm hoping it's not sweeping changes. We've only saw one um, change in the dialogue of this game. The dialogue so far has been okay, and I don't see the need to change the dialogue for this game at all, really. I mean, even the dialogue that they've changed is it's very... You know, you, you saw it yourself. Go check out on the channel. It was the... There were those three Goombas talking to Goombella. Right? Oh, come on. I was right on the edge. That I mean I didn't get it. Oh, did, did, oh, do I have another chance to get it? Okay, and that's a bunch of pink bombs. I'm not taking any chances. Right. Okay, and well, as always, now we've got our super appeal on. Give me all the, give me all the friendship, and I'm, I'm going to keep. Yep, there we go. I'm taking this. This is my property now. All right, I'm taking the other thing as well. It's gonna be badge. I'm taking all the badges today. Okay, and it was an X knot, so it probably was bad. Okay, so there's one badge down. Yeah, uh, I hope they don't change the dialogue too sweepingly. I don't see the need to do so. Okay, and... I'll be taking this as well. Two badges for the price of one. Beautiful. Nice. And a bit of health. And defeat you. And... Wait, do we get both badges out of that? Because I've stolen them both, or does the game pick randomly one to give me? I hope, I don't know. We'll have to check when we get a chance. And not screw up. You know, you know what this gives us a time to do, actually? I believe, didn't Joey have a thing where he destroyed all enemies? Yes, call in a herd of Yoshis, give me some time. Alternate, alternately press a L and R. I just want to see what this does. Oh damn, literally just a stampede of Yoshis. We, great, we move fast to the opposition. Completely fine with it. Oh, God, I thought you were done. Okay, and how about we hit the multi-bounce this time? I think that'll be okay, won't it? See, we can do it. It's easy. We know what we're doing. We're big boys here. Now that you fellas are all out of the way. Got oh, the pink one there. Wait, hang on. How do I get this then? Do I have to hop onto one of these two things? I'm going to go try and do that. Right then. Uh, Check the badges. We got both of them. Okay, pretty cool. Pretty cool. I guess we've got another pretty lucky if we want to put that on. Or we can always try something else. Okay, but this, I don't think we faced one of the pink ones before, have we? Again, another pretty lucky badge. Guess we're getting pretty lucky ourselves. Um, right. First things first, of course, because I don't know if this thing's going to go away at any point in time. Ta uh, we're going to tattle the sp spinnier. Is that what it was called? Spoonia, sorry. That's a Spoonia. Its body is made up of springy discs. Max HP is 12, attack is 7, and defense is 2. May not look like much, but it's pretty tough. Won't come back at you. It won't come at you with anything too weird. Just hang in there, okay? Um, we have to kill this thing, because I need to go all the way through and get another pretty lucky. If I can stack pretty luckies, I'm going to be pretty damn lucky. Well, we got to 4 at least. Bingo! See, we've been waiting on one of them for a, for a day, and then it all comes together. Or for a week, and then it all comes together. Well, 
There goes our audience, I guess. I'll go also gives me... Lovely. Also, it gives me a chance... Thank you, Green Bella. I'll just head bonk. No, I was going to say I'll head bonk with you and then realise promptly why that wouldn't work. Um, I guess we go with Bobbery. Still. Right. Um, I don't know if I was a good guy or a bad guy. Just going to have to walk our way through these guys, aren't we? Probably should have killed with Mario. And then gone with it. Oh well. You live and learn. Well, I guess we're taking out a load of mini-bosses, so I guess I cannot moan. Splendid. Oh. And we're all frozen. Did not notice that this time around. Okay, and same again. Killing that dude. And immobilized again. Splendid. Uh, right. Go to Miss Mouse. Try and nick this thing again. Yoink, I'm taking this. Oh, I don't... Uh, can we stack three luckies? I don't know how, I don't know if the effect stacks or not. I guess I'll have to check it out in my own time. Uh, let's go for a multi-bounce. I'll just fail. Why not? You know what? I'll give you the chance. In fact, that's only three socks. It's not like Bo in the original Paper Mario. Bo could actually... Bo, Bo was a bit more like Yoshi, where she did, like, a lot of... Was it one damage for each? Okay, and right. I wonder if I can get on those back, too. Because no, if you notice, the di I know I've complained before about my lack of depth perception, but those two smaller ones are, are a bit further back. I wonder if I can jump on them and get the middle one. If not, we're going to try it, of course. I just have to time it right. Oh, no, I can just step onto them. Brilliant. Even better. I'm just trying to work out how would you how would you get this middle one? Damn it! Didn't need to do that. Okay, well, let's get the obvious first. Why why we're up, why we're here? And get the uh and get that. I don't really use the defense pluses just because I'm more about attack in this game rather than defense. I feel like you get rewarded for being a lot more proactive than uh, in protecting against the opponent. I know I use damage dodge. But that's just because uh, I like using it. Okay, let's try and... Okay. Now how would I go about doing that? I don't think I can make that jump. Can I hit it? Can I do a bit of a... Can I do this? No? Nah, I don't think I can, unfortunately. Right, okay. We'll get these two for now. Do I have enough? No, I only have two. Oh, I was going to upgrade Barbary. Matters not. Okay, we'll have to leave this sh shine sprite for now. I assume we'll get some sort of super jump later on, because we've been threatening to do so. Uh, also, I've seen some other, other areas... We can uh, use a super jump in. Like there's a uh, there's something at the top of the. Do you remember the sewers? The sit in the in the, the city, the city sewers, I guess, the underground city. There's an area in there. Where there's a pe above the pedestal. There's something because you can see the shadow. 
and I'd quite like to get that. But for now, I think that's all we can get. So, for the time being, we'll go back up here. Now, we shall finally head into where we need to go. Because there will be no more troubles. Nothing else for us to do. How many coins have we got? Let's have a check. We'll, we'll do like a little, uh, one last loop-de-loop -loop round. How many coins am I on? I'm on 57 coins. Probably not good enough to buy any badge. So, uh, let's just go straight there. Because we, last time out, we got the ticket. So I'm hoping... We can... Oh! You've got mail! Okay... Uh, where is it? Where is my mailbox? Who mail? Are you Mario? Did you... Did, did this email... Uh, did you get this email? Uh, look man, technology freaks me out, so if you're not Mario, please destroy this email, okay? If you are, thanks for saving my captured friends. I figured I'm, I, I'd share a lot, a hot tip with you, so here, here it is. There's a lots of treasures here in Creepy Steeple. Of course, knowing you, you probably already found it all, uh, so useless. But, uh, well, enjoy your not so use, useless adventure. Creepy Steeple, boo. Ah, I wonder if that activated just because we beat the atomic boo. Well, anyway, um, hi, Super Squeegee, how are we doing? Uh, for me, it is afternoon. That's when I can afford to do so. So I've got I have to do other things later on at night. But yes, it is a uh, time zones are always a problem. Especially when like obviously you've got Br British time zone over here. I mean America always does me with it. Hasn't America got like four different time zones depending on where you are? Where obviously most countries in Europe tend to only have one, maybe two of it that big. Uh, but anyway, this, this train is bound for looks. No, this train is bound for the luxurious Parsley Heights. We'll be boarding today. Here is my ticket. I definitely did not get by extorting a mob boss. Um, wonderful. And if you don't mind, please allow me to check your ticket. Watch your step, please. All aboard. To be fair, I've I've I've, I've, I've been trying to nail down if I was ever going to move, it would be to America. Um. All aboard! I've been trying to nail down what state or what where should I move to. Obviously, being British, I can't pick somewhere that's too hot because I melt. But obviously, if I'm going to move to somewhere, I don't want it to be too cold. So I could, that sort of counts out some of the northern states. Then it has to be a place where, you know, there are, there are certain things. So I've been trying to, like, eke out, like, or trying to, like, work down the list of states that I could possibly move to in the future. Any suggestions would be fine. Well, it's a, it, I, I, I've always wanted to go to America, but anyway. Chapter 6. Three Days of Excess. Am I going to turn into, like, a wide Mario? Oh, the New England area? Is that, like... Um, bear with me, because my knowledge of American geography is awful. I can name all the states, it's just... If you ask me where to, like, on a map they are, I couldn't tell you to save my life. New England's, like, New Hampshire, Maine, Vermont, that sort of stuff. But anyway, on with, onward with the game. Wow, the Excess Express, this is so totally luxurious. Three days of Tapashley Heights are just gonna fly by. Oh my gosh, I'm so psyched. Oh. Yes. Oh, there's a Shine Sprite I can use. Shame that I can't go back and upgrade one of my partners. Huh? What's on the floor? Was that there when we arrived? Oh, I, I just- I, I know all the states and the capitals because I used to watch, um, as a kid, the, like, Animaniacs. I'm sure they had, like, a song about it, and that's just drilled into my head. I- I- I'm a sucker for that sort of stuff, like mnemonics and not- not- and all the little songs to remember stuff. I have one for all the kings and queens of England from horrible histories. Damn, I had such Sh shows like the the late the mid to late nineties. 
uh, to the two thousands. They were peak. I've already, I've already we've I've already said like I I'm trying to eke my my nephew into watching some of those old shows that I grew up on because I just look at some of the shows now that are on like the TV shows we have over here and I'm just I'm like this is not good. Ours were better. <laughs> I'm trying to indoctrinate him into into what into watching uh, old TV shows that I used to watch. But anyway, um, don't go to Pashley Heights. Get off the train now, or a sticky, yummy doom awaits it. What a totally weird fret. You think Beldum has anything to do with it? Well, one way or the other, the note's appearance means the culprits are on the train. Oh, I hate frets. Let's get this Nadja before they try anything. Are we going to get some murder on the Orient Express? Please tell me so. And as always, going to bump our ass on the ground. Yeah, I just like knowing stuff like capitals of countries, and obviously America has 50 capitals, because all the states, because all the states are, well, technically it used to be, Amer America's weird because of how it, of how its history is assembled, but ah well. Uh, there's a dried shroom in the, in the, inside the drawer. Oh yeah, gotta get those, mm, gotta get those tasty dried shrooms. Okay, and then here we go. I, I, I just like learning about, like, geography, history, because they sort of interlope. Because if you learn about geog- if you learn about history like I do, because I'm a sucker for, like, war history, or it's like how countries have evolved over time, you end up knowing a lot of, you know, you, en you end up just knowing by proxy a lot of the different countries. Oh, found one already. Splendid. We need how many more to get to? We need six more to get to get a power plus. I don't think there's anything else in here. Nope. And onwards. We have more bumping of the ground to do. Well, I didn't... Well, I think I found the toad who likes eating. Weren't you in the last game? That's Hefty, the gourmet toad. I think he goes... I think he goes more for quality or quantity. Yeah, he's definitely here for the food, not for the ride. It takes all sorts. Uh, I don't know, how would I... Now, now a normal toad would sound like, up here, like this. But because he's fat, he's gonna be like, Ah. Ah, uh, hey, hello there. Ah, uh, you know, I used to dream of one day getting to ride on this train. Yeah, this is my first time playing. I'm trying to play it before the... I'm trying to finish it before the remake comes out. Uh, and now I finally got a ticket. Dreams do come true. I mean, Hefty. He definitely picked it the, the correct name. Several gourmet food magazines here. One of them is an issue devoted to the food of the XS Express. A large photo of Chef Shimi on the cover. His smile is just blinding. I'm sure he's got a lovely set of pearly whites. But yeah, I'm hoping to get this finished just before the the remake comes out. Obviously, I'm not going to play it back to back. I bore myself then. Although I do want to see what the differences the, the differences they they make. Like I've already seen they're going to do it. They've made a quality of life issue with the like the wheel with your your partners, which was I've said before was needed. Um. That's Toodles the Toad. Gosh, that woman is so fashionable it makes me sick. She's obviously the kind of lady she belongs on the, that belongs on this train. Classy all the way. Hey, if you've, you've paid the ticket, you afford to be on. Yeah, I, I, it's just for the one time of... Um, I'm, for me, it's playing it now because I'll never... Be, I know in my mind, I will not play the original game. If I if I buy the remake, so I'm trying to buy, play the remake. Oh, pl buy the uh, if I can speak, play the original now, so then I can, you know, actually I actually have some reference of this, and then I can play the remake and be like, oh, that's interesting. So if I did it, I, I don't think I'd be able to do it the other way around. I knew, I knew, uh, I knew, I knew him. That Zipto, the movie star. Women go nuts for him. 
You know, he's hot and all, but he seems pretty stuck about being famous. Guess all the celebrities are kind of like that. Too bad, because I kind of like them. Hey, guy. Uh, yeah, you know this, but I'm an absolutely famous movie star, Zip Toad. I'm gonna shoot this little multi-billion dollar art flick in Parsley Heights, yo. I know, uh, I only sign autographs for cute chicks. Sorry about that, guy. What if I am a cute chick, you bigot? Uh, I can def- my fault so far in this game, I can definitely see why this is rated so highly as it is. So I played the original Paper Mario and was like, okay, and I can see why, uh, why it's well liked. And then like, this is basically, they've took the basis of Paper Mario and just basically made it better in every way. Obviously it's on the GameCube, so the graphics are better, but you also you can do a lot more in terms of mechanics, like adding the paper mechanics. And um, this is a passenger car. The green and bright brown colors actually work here. Wow. There are two passenger cabins here, one and two. Wow, you, you really know how to count numbers, Goombella. Door may not be opened while the train is in motion. But yeah, it's basically just a... It's a bit like a... I'm trying to think how to describe it. You know how in mo in some... like when they, Whenever a game makes a sequel, they basically just... And just... They take the mechanics from the original game and then try and perfect it. Or oh, make it better in, in a lot of ways, which I can respect. Oh. Splendid. Love when it happens first time. I think, like, having, um, like I said, I looked at, I've already bought Super Paper Mario. I have it on the, on the Wii, uh, which I did not know at the time. I didn't know it was different. Oh, the soundtrack's great. I know they've changed it a little bit for, um, for the remake. I don't know if there's a chance you'll be able to like, I hope there's a badge like you can, that you can pick that change, that turns it to the original soundtrack or you have an option to turn to um, the soundtrack for Thousand Year Door, like the original soundtrack. But they've sort of done like, um, they've done like a, say like a Pokemon when they remake a Pokemon game. They've gone through and remade all the tracks with different, um, like a, they obviously spiced them up a bit. Like I know the I've heard the remake for Rogue Pot, the Rogue Pot theme, has a lot more brass than, you know, in what it, what is in this game, which is using more classical music. That's the engineer of the XS Express. Talk about a dream job for kids. But just saying, uh, but just saying, you drive a train doesn't make you cool. You gotta love the job. I mean, we're talking about a train here. That's some serious responsibility. This is the engineer's car of the XS Express. Any kid would love to see this. Look at me, Mario. I'm an engineer. Whoop, whoop. Hey, but driving a train is really nothing to joke about. I totally respect engineers. Can relate. Although, to be fair, I, as a person who watched Thomas the Tank Engine growing up, I always thought that the trains were... Trains ran by themselves until I was about, you know... Taller than I'd like to admit. And older than I'd like to admit. Because, you know, just, I, I was a I was a Thomas the Tank Engine fanatic growing up. I had the trains, I had all the trains, like these, I had these, like, had the tracks, I had these all, I had, like, um, little, like, cabin where they all, you know, like, they, they all, like, um, fit in when they went to sleep at night. Oof. Peak. Tom, Thomas the Tank Engine. Lovely. Absolutely top, 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 top notch children's show. Um, greetings! Welcome to the XS Express. I'm what you call as a train engineer. The opulent journey to Parsley Arts will take approximately three days. Uh, how do you how, find your accommodations? Are they not incredibly splendid? Our furnishings delight the eye, but the sway of the locomotive delights all, all else. So, let, uh, so let's all hear it for the XS Express. Huzzah, huzzah! Well, you were not as interesting as I thought you were. I wonder why they're positioning so many different um, saves in so close a place. It worries me a little bit. But yeah, the new I've def I heard the new music for Rogue Port, but I know they've made they've basically gone through and made a whole new soundtrack and a, a, a load of other quality of life features as well. Like I know the dialogue for each um, character, like the sound you were hearing Goombella then. Uh, they've changed those up so each like race has their own different um, like little sound when they speak 
This is a passenger car, orange and brown decor. This actually looks cool. This actually looks good. Passenger cabin here are numbered three, four, and five. In case you get your numbers. Thank you, Goombella. I'll try not to. But yeah, going back to Super Paper Mario, I didn't realize that Super Paper Mario was vastly different from this game. Because apparently Nintendo wanted to use Paper Mario, but get away from the more classic RPG um, sort of uh, mechanics that they were using in this game, which makes, to me, no sense, because that's kind of one of the, some of the best parts of this game, is, you know, the... The, the RPG sort of things. That's what uh, that's what enticed me to play Paper Mario initially. Um, that's the waitress from the X of the XS Express. Kind of spacey. Think she's an okay waitress? Probably not. But guys always go for girls like this, don't they? Why is that, Mario? Um, because because men are more visual than women, Goombella. Generally, and that's a sad fact of life. Um, welcome, welcome, welcome. This is the dining car you eat and stuff. Some people take this train, um, just so they can eat our yummily fabulous foods. In this trip, um, we have a super famous actor on board, Zip Toad. Oh my gosh. I'm so totally swooning. I, I, I so hope that he comes here to eat soon. Oh, doing that voice strains. <laughs> yeah, I, I've... Yeah, it's, I guess it's an RPG platform. It's just very different to, say, the pre the previous two games is what I'm trying to get across. Like, you wouldn't say Super Paper Mario is... Uh, is... Like, Paper Mario and, and Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door have the same sort of mechanics. Very similar. So Super Paper Mario, compared to those, takes a vastly different set of mechanics. And to be fair, every other game sort of does. Like, it goes between... Um, like, I, I saw Origami King when that came out. And that's obviously a lot more, you know, that reminds me more of something like Super Mario Odyssey with, you know, a 3D world that you do stuff in. Rather than, you know, this sort of format. Um, hello, I'm Fiathimi, the culinary expert. Glad to make your acquaintance. I mean, a acquaintance? So sorry. Cute thieves, my first language, you know. Today's lunch is so amazing, it'll make your tongue cry out in shame. Please do taste it, though, so that my passion does not wither alone in the pot of loneliness. Oh, well. Uh, but don't tell me about the, uh, Super Paper Mario's plot, though. I want to play it for myself. This is Chef Shimi, the cook aboard the XS Express. He cooks for everybody. Can't figure this guy out. I have no idea if he's joking most of the time. Um, I don't know. Probably. I joke most of the time, but that's to hide my cr my, my crippling pain. Okay. Do I want to give you anything? Oh, I like, kind of like that look for a toad with the sort of thing in the bow tie. He, look, he looks quite dapper. That's the sales stall owner. You can buy and sell things here, obviously. Yeah, just the only thing cooler than traveling is traveling and shopping. And I miss it. Yep, you're just the same as all the other ones. I should probably... Did I check there for... Did I do the jump? But yeah, all the... Um, it seems that all the other Paper Marios seem to fall into um, more going into the paper route of the game rather than making it like these, which are more obviously RPG. In terms of... Like, classical RPG. Right, I think we've assaulted, uh, we checked here thoroughly. This is the dining car. There also seems to be a cute little shop here. Dining and shopping while scenery go by. Talk about heavenly. Like, I, I, I've got hope that the, um, with super, with them making the remake of this game, and Super not um, Super Mario RPG. I have hope that they're going to make another either Super Mario RPG or Paper Mario uh, in this sort of vein and we get another Mario RPG, which when Nintendo seems to do this sort of stuff, they seem to, you know, at, the, at least it, they seem to make a solid attempt at it or 
Well, they more or less try and knock it out of the park every time. When they when they reach out, they kind of go for it. This is a passenger car. The blue and brown interior here are totally chic. Passenger cabins here are numbered 6, 7, and 8, but you knew that. Um... The remakes have been solid so far, but I, I feel like... I mean, the thing is, at the minute, I believe Nintendo are actually list... Are, are, they've actually got... I can't know... I don't know if it's a questionnaire or they've got, like, things you can send to them. Like, there's a, there's a thing where you can send, like, your opinions to Nintendo and they're actually... They're actually actively listening to fans, which is something they've not really done um, for a long... For a while, for a while, let's say, in terms of Paper Mario. Because, you know... I came in late, but who oh boy, when I ask friends and other people and see reviews of what people think about, like, the later games... Oh, did they get rid of it? I thought it was still active. I apologize if it is, if, it, if it's if it's not. Um, but... I, I, I see, like, the Discord over certain games, like Paper Mario, like, his Sticker Star. But, like, you can clearly see that people were very, or well, were not very happy with... The fact that they veered off into different aspects and leaning more into the paper aspect rather than the RPG sort of aspects that, you know, the first two games had. Um, that's Pennington, a train passenger. He says he's a detective, but I don't know. I mean, why do detectives always show up when something goes wrong, huh? Because that's the way it works, otherwise the plot wouldn't happen. Take note, Goombella. Okay, this guy, he's Sherlock Holmes. Ugh. Okay, and fine. I'm on my way back home. I've strayed so long, I've forgotten what it looks like. Oh, I was hoping I was... I'm waiting for the It's Elementary, dear Watson. Yeah, I think that's a good thing, though. It's always nice when companies do actually take into account feedback of what their games... of what people want from their games, rather than... Oh, hello there, sir. You're a Ratui. You're the second one I've seen of you, of your, your kind. The other one I sunk 300 coins to and he left me. I hope he comes back. That's Ratui Businessman. He's on the XS Express for business, obviously. I bet he's putting everything on an, ex an expense account, huh? Or is that a fringe benefit? No idea. But, to be fair, if you can put, the, if you can put it as a tax, you know, a uh, tax expense... You can get it, you can get it back, and that's a nice way to make some money. It's also a nice way to get yourself rock locked up if you do it for everything. Um, hmm. Uh, me? I have a very important deal to attend once we get, to, once we arrive in Parsley Heights. Traveling on business, so everything goes on the expense account. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think we need more of that, of companies actually listening to, um, what people want. I know it's a, it, it sounds silly. But, um, it seems that companies nowadays, uh, instead of actually keeping in the, staying in their lane and doing what the, what they're known for, which Nintendo's brilliant at, um, because what Nintendo does is make bankable, make bankable games that people know, that they, they can prob you know, that don't go too far away from the formula, uh, of what, they have what's made them a bunch of money, but then what they'll do is they'll also make a game that, that, is different and see if that becomes its own franchise a bit like splatoon because splatoon came out of nowhere and that's basically become you know a very a more you know a bankable name one of the bankable names now and franchises for nintendo oh are you the champion of the glitz but are you not well the great gone yes the great gonzalez bound for poshly heights well this is certainly a fitting place for a celebrity like you this is gold bob of the babam he's the head of a wealthy business um gold babington's He's got buckets at the cats, they say. I guess some folks are just good with money. Oh. See, and that's why we check everywhere. I'm Bob. We're gonna get I'm gonna get a birthday present for me, and it's gonna be cool. You jealous? And that's Bob the Baba. I mean, very rich family, so he's kinda spoiled. Yeah, kids are um kids are kids, no matter how big their trust fund is, aren't they? I think we've heard all this before. We are on route for Poshley Heights to buy a birthday present for little Bub here. <laughs> my, my, my. That's Sylvia the Babam. She's super wealthy. She's got a, high, a real high society air around her. Even her perfume smells like money. 
What type of money are we talking about? We're talking like what happens when you buy when you buy like copper coins and you get like that sort of rustic smell? Are we talking like fresh print money? Okay, and can we go back? Hello to you and welcome to the XS Express. I'm the conductor of this train. And I trust you must be Mario of room five. Make yourself at home, sir. What's that? Some sort of sticky, yummy fret? I see. Good gracious me. If I hear anything else, I'll let you know immediately. As the conductor of the XS Express, he takes care of the passengers' needs. I'm um, keeping this train running smoothly. It's just a, not just an en the engineer's job, you know. Okay, can I go? Nope. Right, okay, well, I guess we return back to our cabin. I assume, anyway. Oh, well, I guess there's a gathering of people here. Oh no, my heart uh, cried out in the salty pain and misery. That was my masterpiece. I mean, masterpiece. And now it's gone, I'm left with tears of horror in my eyes. Oh, no, oh no, Zip Toad is here and everything. No, my life's totally ruined. Oh, uh, well, guess we found a toad that simps for a dude. I'm dying for a taco, guy. Couldn't you just whip up some grub real quick? What? They took the whole pot? Really? The whole deal? This isn't my... In a, this isn't in my contract. I thought I was gonna have a nice lunch on my expense account. Rats. Truly unfortunate. Almost tragic, really. Hmm... Yes. I can say without the slightest hesitation that this smell, this smells like a case to me. But what shall we call it? That is the question before us. Yes, what to call it? Yes, the case of the pot of the supper stew that vanished suddenly and mysteriously. Quite a snappy title if I don't say so myself. Indeed, that'll do nicely. Hmm. My dear train passengers, this is a full-fledged mystery. One that impacts you all. Um, what? A mystery? A mystery, you'd have said. But, uh, what kind of dish is that? I believe his, uh, humor was misplaced. I am known as Pennington. You likely would not guess it, but I am a detective. At the risk of at the risk of immodesty, you might say I'm I have a certain nose for these things. And this little conundrum, my dear fellow passengers, poses no challenge to me. Oh. Yes, swoon by my greatness. The central clue clue of this case also is the most vital one, as it happens. Is that our perpetrator took the whole pot, stew and all. And this esteemed friends leads me to believe that the one responsible is you, you gluttonous woman. Ah, uh, me? You totally cuckoo? I have like no idea what you're talking about. Um, well, pardon me. Sorry. Please accept my apologies, my dear woman. I felt I needed to practice my accusation skills, you understand. Um, yes, sorry. Hmm, <clears throat> very good. Now let us get serious, shall we? This, I believe, I will be the case of, of worthy of my intellect. Hmm, yes. Now let's get this straight. So what do we know so far? Is that we don't know who the culprit is? And, uh, I guess that's about right- that's about it, right? And this seat is to for tall squares. Forget you guys, I'm going back to my room. Hmm. <laughs> you were in a bit of a hurry to get back to your room, eh? You, sir, highly suspicious. I have just broken the case. The true culprit, I believe, is Zip Toad, the actor. Zip Toad? The Zip Toad? No! I kind of like the look of some of these toads, of some of these like like the female toads. They put a lot of, or just the general actual toads. They put a lot of craft and effort into the actual designs of these that you don't see in probably late a lot of later Mario games. Um, uh, no way, Mr. Detective Person. You're just making stuff up, you 
you Tweety Geezer. Damn, what a slam. Um, Tweety Geezer? Geezer? I can't say I deserve such a verbal thrashing, but well then. Who did it, hmm? Hmm? This puzzle deepens with every confounding step. I suppose I have to figure it out. Interesting, the speech bubbles actually uh, still appear there. Okay, and just wanted to check that this was the same dialogue. Alright then, well I suppose we follow... A clue, there are traces of something here on the carpet. This totally looks like some spilled stew on the carpet. Can we follow the trail of the thief, Mario? It might even be the same person who wrote that sticky yummy fret note. What makes me say that? A, Goomba, a Goomba's intuition. Well... Maybe it's Pearl Fay again with the stew. Anything will save. Alright then. Clue, there are traces of the carpet. Keep going. Okay, and the traces seem to stop here. Well, I don't want to call the... I don't want to be the, the pot calling the kettle black, but... You are a suspect, sir. Wow. Why you why? Blech. Sorry about that. What are you just saying? Apart from the kitchen? Oh, I get it. Uh, food gets stolen and you blame the chubby guy. Not nice. Wow. Well, uh, drops of stew on the floor outside. No, I wouldn't know anything about that. No, people spill stuff. Well, and there's no need to look in the drawer, though. No need to look. You won't find a thing. Several got made food magazines here, and one of them is an issue devoted to the food of the Excess Express. There's a large photo of Chef Shimi on the cover. His smile is just blinding. There's something under the magazines. A galley pot. Anti stew pot, this thing looks like it was licked clean. Ah. Oh. Sorry, I ate it all. Oof me. So you were the, you were so enamored with a stew that you wanted to steal it and devour more? And you stole the entire pot when the chef was chopping shallots? Answer. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, that's right. So sorry, but it was a brief moment of weakness. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Well, I guess it's, it is what it is. You just gotta have to suffer, unfortunately. Justice has been served. Very satisfying. May this terrible crime never occur. And you, my dear sir, yes, you with the unkempt facial hair. My keen sleuthing instincts identified you as the correct person to call the ruffian. Now that note is in your room, yes, I know of it. As a lone detective on this train, the conductor has confided in me. But we cannot speak here. Find me in room six, though we may discuss this in private. Well. I guess this is it. Oh, and please return the part to the chef if you could. Well, okay then. He said go to number six, right? I can't remember which way it goes. Does it go forward or does it go backwards? Alrighty then. And we just follow the trail back. And give the chef the pot back. So you found the beef? Oh wait, I mean the thief? I'm so joyful. You Thor, the hero of my world. You can you brought my pie. Thank you, of course, but my uh, but it is mine. I love it. Thanks to you to me. Here's a little taste of my powerful gratitude. Please take it. And why butcher this language though? It's so shameful. Please take it. I mean. Oh, you must have had a spill again. All right then. Okay, and I'll take a another star piece. Damn, we're at twelve already. I wonder how many. Is there a star piece counter that I just don't know about? I'm trying to think if we've got any, uh... Yeah, we got FP drain, I said last time from them. We got the simplifier. What was the unsimplifier? It was one of the two. I think we're doing pretty well so far. 64 out of, eight, out of uh, eight, 85 badges. Doing pretty damn well, if I don't say so myself. 
I, I just wish there was a star, a star sprite thing, like a check, see how well I'm doing. Oh, no, oh, that was a graphical glitch. Well, I'm just trying to get all the badges. I'm not really bothered that much about the, uh... I'm trying to get all the tattle dialogue and all the badges. Hence why we did the Atomic Boo thing, because apparently the Atomic Boo is a mini boss that I think is only in Creepy Steeple. Hence why we went back. Aha! I have been waiting. I was rather impressed with your work on the last case, I must admit. However, I do not think you are the one who... who, who you... I think the... Uh, da, 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 if I could speak again. However, I do not think the one you apprehended is our sticky, yummy malcontent. I have deduced from this lack of any incriminating clues in this in his room. In any case, I must say, I believe you have a certain knack for detective work. So it is decided, then. I shall take you on as my new assistant. To reiterate, my name is Pennington. I am a detective from Poshley Heights. I am known in some circles as the penguin with the improbably large brain. I am sure you've heard of uh, you've heard of me, so that is all I will say on the subject. As for your name, wait. I demand you tell me. I don't wait. Do I demand you do not tell me? I shall deduce your identity. That moustache, that nose. Oh, all too easy, you sir. Obviously, the famed Luigi, are you not? Yes. Get my green boy some love. You know what I should have done? If I'd known about this, I would have I would have tried to buy the L emblem and work up the coins. No, I am a small fat man. <laughs> I I am the brother. Uh, no need to introduce yourself. I know all about the famous Luigi. Now about this fret, our man has declared his intent to yummify the train. A sticky, tasty explosion. That family of bombs, they are definitely suspect. Now, Luigi. We will reduce this case to rudimentary facts and deduce the truth. Yeah, I, well, I've already said I'm a sucker. I, I, I've always been a Luigi Luigi fan. Oh, I guess it's night time. They've put on the they've put on the uh, the lighting. And this is the Ratuies. Um, thing the bombs was this one, correct? Who listening? No, no, no. I think we should get the little Bob the Advanced Learner's classic series of bomb bob bob bombery. Two words. Cheap and boring. Things more luxurious, dear. Perhaps a car or a house. Bob is too small for um uh, Bob is too small for such things, Gold Bob. Stop thinking about uh stop thinking about of your own social status. He needs something that will further his education, not spoil him, honestly. I don't want any of that stuff they're talking about. What do you want, kid? Hey, mister. You're a detective now? Now you quit being a champion? Well, uh, you can detect what I really want for my birthday? Uh... I assume... Sure. I'm a pro. Really? Cool. You want to bring me what I really want, then I'll give you something in return. Okay, then here's a hint. Starts with an A, got it? Is it a family who cares for you? Uh, that's gonna be pretty hard to get. I can hear everything, everything that family's fighting about in loud and clear from here. One thing was, one thing I heard was cute. That boy dreams of being a train engineer someday. Um. What an interesting dream for a rich little kid. Haha. <laughs> right then, so it's something beginning with A, and he likes trains. Hmm. I was really looking forward to plopping that stew on my expense account. Oh well, I guess I'll just order the most expensive thing on the dinner menu. Atta boy. When the company's paying, you go for the full go for the full nine yards. The thing this young Master Bob wants most? Hmm, let's do, shall we? Well, it is rudimentary. He wants a Game Boy Advance, my dear Luigi. Because of that, my friend, what young children his age crave above all things? Ah, uh, I, I like that subtle marketing you're getting in, Nintendo. I mean, it definitely worked. I got... 
between me and my brother, we got two Game Boy Advances. Well, he had the Game Boy Advance, I had the SP. So I'm, I, I'm the younger brother and got into it later. <laughs> Affection. Good one. Um, okay, nope. I thought he might have, ha he, he might have something else. Just checking if anything's got an A here. Affection. Hmm, trying to think of other words. A few, uh... Um, yes, about this thief. I'm actually pleased that he craved my stew pot enough to steal the entire pot. I was filled with no anger, but rather warm broth of satisfaction. Okay. I guess that's one way to feel about someone taking your food. Um, you guys totally bagged the chubby guy in record time. I was way impressed. Come to think of it, I could use your skills. Could you help me? Yes. Really? How do you say the five stars? Wow, okay, um, I lost these shell earrings my ex-boyfriend gave me. And they're like all full of memories and stuff, I really need them back. Sounds like he's not an ex. Uh, could you f maybe look for them or something, please? Napkins and plates are, arran are arranged neatly here. Yes, I'm just keeping these, you know, these lovely earrings that my ex-boyfriend gave me. Yeah, oh, and I'm keeping them for, for, for memories that we used to have. Sure. Sure. Uh, we like to rest in the bed. Me as well, because we're not healed up so far. And can you... I think we have to go to the conductor. I'm just checking if there's anything else in here. Like around here. Oh, this yellow tint is giving me a... Uh, the yellow tint's giving me a little bit of like things when... Uh, like a flashback to when like old games wouldn't work. Or, and your, or your AV like adapter wasn't plugged in properly and you used to get like the yellow sort of like tint on your screen. Okay, and you're a train conductor. This kid likes trains. Have you got anything for me? Running this train during the sunset is a high point of every day for me. Let's hear it for the XS Express. Huzzah, huzzah. Hmm. What would he want? It begins with A and he wants to be... Some... Does he want to be an actor? Oh, does he want an autograph? Hang on. Aha! Autograph! Nailed it! Definitely worked it out and didn't just look into it. Um, what does that little bub kid want as a present? Well, I'm sure he'd be stoked to have an autograph of mine, right? Oh man, don't they all? I can't do it, unfortunately. I only sign for chicks. Hey, you don't think bub might want some, something from someone he admires, do you? I'd better find whatever it is soon and we'll meet a yummy sticky end. Hey, don't think Bob might want something from someone he admires, do you? I find out what that is and stick in. I thought he, he wanted to be a train conductor, so I was like, okay. I want to be an engineer, so I was like, okay, cool. Talk to this guy, gave it, get an autograph from this guy. You want my autograph, sir? Oh, it's for little Bob. Well, yeah, of course. Here you are. He looks so happy writing that. Gosh, I've never given out an autograph before. That felt fantastic. Right, got it. Yeah, the train the train chapter is pretty comfy. It's one of the it's one of those things where uh, they they do tend to pace out the game quite well between combat and exploration. Although I will say, in the last previous two chapters, they have been reusing a little bit of um a bit a bit too a little bit too much of back and forth. So, you know, like, going between Creepy Steeple and, um... What's it called again? Twilight Town, a bit too much. Then you had to do the same with, um, going where the temple was. And then going back to the main section. You had to do that a couple times as well. So, uh, do you bring me the thing I wanted most? 
Well, yeah, bingo, mister. That's just what I wanted. You're a good detective. So here's something for you, just like I said. Oh, nice. Um, th thanks for the autograph. I'll take good care of it. Well, I still think you should get them the classic series of Bobobbery. Depends. If a kid if a kid's if a kid wants to learn, he's gonna learn. If he doesn't want to learn, he ain't going to. Oh, and it's daytime. Mr. Mario, I'm glad you spoke to me. I just remembered something suspicious. I found myself one blanket short when I was handing them out to the passengers. Be the last passenger my own blanket and make it up, but it's vexing. I have exact I have exact blanket counts. It means someone came on board without a ticket. That stowaway just might be your suspect, Mr. Mario. Not only that, but I don't know how to get my blanket back. I'll be too chilly to sleep tonight. You could look for the unticketed passenger and get that blanket. I'd be fa I'd thank you. Yes, call me Blanket P.I. I mean, Mario already has the tush for that, so fair play. Honestly, great, thanks. Well, I have to keep watch here, but I'll be waiting for the good news. Yeah, you do see a lot of... Maybe it's just me. It's just... Maybe why I, was, I think the the one with the creepy steeple where it was going back and forth. I think you had to go back and forth about three or four times. It got a bit annoying. I'm trying to I'm trying to do my paperwork done today so I can enjoy myself tomorrow. Should you stay away from me for a while? No. You will do your paperwork while I'll come and accost you all I damn well please. What's this? There was an unticketed passenger, just as I suspected. The conductor was one blanket short, eh? Then we are hunting for a lone intruder. That would definitely rule out the family in cabinet. Rudimentary, my boy. And that is the only hint I will give you today, my sleuth prentice. You must strike out on, on your own with that little nugget of invest investigative wisdom. Of course, I have no other hints to share, so uh, if, if I so choose, no truly. For example, the unticketed passenger was without a doubt a, a yummy, sticky suspect. You think? You really think so? I love all the different races they put in. Just like, like these weird and wacky characters you've not really seen before. I don't think there's anything here. And now, if you please, I must begin to prepare my evening orders. Ah, no, curse this tongue of mine. I mean the evening orders. Napkins and plates are neatly around everywhere. Welcome to the dining car. You're just the greatest. Thank you so much for agreeing to find my shell earrings. That's if I find them. I was hoping they'd be in the bob area, but apparently not. Okay, and onwards, onwards in each cabin we go. Maybe we'll find them in one of the drawers. We're not, we're not really got a hint about where those earrings are. I heard some noise in the room next door a little while ago. Weird ones. But when I looked in there, it's empty. It was, it was like, that was totally freaky. But I came back and heard the noises again. Really spooked me. Would you mind checking it in the checking that room for me? Okay, and I think I will. And I assume we use uh, Vivian to do so. Um. Aha! Boo! Oh, maybe I should, uh, gumbella this person first. I don't know if he's gonna run off. That's Ghost T. He's pretty light-hearted for a ghost. But still, a ghost is a ghost. Uh, so you found me! Well, as you see, I'm a ghost. I'm cursed to haunt this place. A blanket? Well, yes, the conductor did leave one here. He didn't realize that I'm a ghost. A yummy, sticky fret. 
No, I left, I left so no such thing. I can't even hold physical objects like pen and paper. What? You just want the blanket then? Well, I'll tell you where it is if you'll do something for me. Yes, it's a real ghost and how are you doing super poop cool? Ugh. Uh, nah, I'm not discriminatory against ghosts. Although, if, go if, if ghost busting was real, I'd, def I'd definitely be a part of it. All I need is your life. Nah, just kidding. Actually, I passed away in this cabin many years ago. But I think my luggage is still in the baggage car here. Inside my bag is a diary I've kept in my earliest childhood days. And my fear that someone would find and read it has kept me tied to this world. It has all my war crimes in it. I can't leave this room, so can you bring it? Can you please find it and bring it here? You do that, I'll show you where the blanket is. Right. Okay. So now I've got to find. I guess the ba where is the baggage car? Is that in the? And don't you dare read my diary. Um. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get the remake. It's just gonna. It'll depend on when. Because at the moment, I'm trying to save some money. So, I'm probably not going to be playing one right after the other. Because if you do, ho oh, oh, ho oh, oh, ho ho, a horrible fate awaits you. Yeah, I was after the, after we finish, um, yeah, it's coming out on 23rd of May. Um, I'm hoping that, to be fair, I think usually I take, like, sweeping gaps in between. To be fair, I looked on Nintendo's website and saw, like, the, I, was, I always check what the pre-order bonuses is. Or what the pre-order bonuses are. For just in case I'll be tempted, because I'm a sucker for some like some some sort of stuff like that. If 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 it's if it's um if, if the pre-order bonus is worth it, sometimes I'll go for it. Or or if I can like pre-order like a special edition. Like there are games that I wish I could have done that for. Like for, like for instance Fallout 4 when they were giving out the Pit Boys, I would have loved that. Well, hello there, you fine specimen of a man. You are marvellous, dear. You solved a rather tough little mystery, didn't you? Very, very well done. You're rugg so ruggedly smart. Perhaps you could help me with something as well. Why does everybody need my help? Uh, I think, wasn't was, was, was the not a pre-order bonus? I thought, I, I, I usually was looking on the Nintendo store. I could be wrong if there isn't. Whoa, how absolutely lovely. Uh, now listen well, I'm looking for a gold ring that I lost somewhere on this very train. Could you please hasten the search along for me? You boldly brilliant man, you. What does that say? Giant mounds of cosmetics inside. Well, if she's, she's one of those. Behold, that toad is not naturally beautiful. It's pounds and pounds of makeup. Yeah, I, I I love I I don't mind I don't mind like getting a pre-order bonus if it's worth it, but some of the ones that the pre the pre-orders they give out are kind are just kind of taking the mick. Hey, guy, getting falsely accused is a bummer, right? I don't don't I don't I know it. So postcards and glossies, including featuring zip toad inside. Right. So okay, we're still looking for the earrings. I haven't found anywhere. Yet to go to the. Yeah. It is one of those. There is, there is no incentive. Driving at night is so mysterious with the lights and bugs and whatnot. Let's all hear it for the Excess Express. Huzzah, huzzah. Yeah, it's us. Also... Yeah, that's true. When does Nintendo do sit? Well, to be fair, what I usually do. Is I usually wait wait a couple wait a couple months or wait like even even longer, and then I'll go into a, a shop like uh, I don't know what shops you guys have over yeah you guys have it over in America but we used to have like like game or I'm not gonna pronounce it the way it, the way it's set the way they say it but it's CX because it's, it's pronounced another way. 
Yeah, so like, I usually go there or somewhere else. Um, to, like, to, where I'll have a look and see if there's any games where you kind of just have to drop on them at times because the price the prices seem to fluctuate. Like I picked up a um, Metroid Prime Remastered. I think that was like six months to a year, and I think I got after it came out, and that was like um, I think I got it for like 20, 25 quid. Which is pretty good, and that was like a new copy as well. Obviously, it's a you, some with games like Thousand Year Door. What because they're a remake, they'll tend to probably drop in price a little bit quicker than the average like new release because you can get it elsewhere. But obviously, I don't know with Thousand Year Door because it's only on GameCube, so it, I might be wrong with that. You're just the greatest. Thanks so much for helping me agree with shell earrings. Okay, yeah. If I find your shell earrings, I'll try. Um, now if you please bring the evening hors d'oeuvre. Um, I'd say the games are expensive, but I'd, I'd say they're probably about the same. See, I'd probably say that they're about the same as expense. About the same as what they are over here, given the conversion rate. Because I'd say that the average games are probably around fifty, probably around here, around fifty, if not more. So. So, yeah, given the conversion rate, it's probably about even. You gonna give me any any hints? The unticketed passenger was a ghost? My dear Luigi, you are delusional. Do you have the vapors, lad? Have you, have you been smoking that sweet Mary Jane? Yeah, I always... I, well, it is always fun, because you get to see different... And that's what I mean. I, I like to go to different countries and see how, you know, because sometimes things are differently priced. Like when I went to, when I was a kid, sometimes what I would do, because we used to um, have family who lived in Portugal, uh, I used to go and what I used to do there is I used to like, I used to be a massive Lego fan. I used to wait to save up my money and then convert it into euros when I was a kid, go over, go over to Portugal when we'd have a holiday and buy Lego from over there because it was always cheaper than what it was over here. And it was still in English, to be fair. You could, which was weird because it's in Portugal, but it is pretty weird. I guess there's certain countries just have natural, you know, not going into like the too boring, but pretty, um, when it got, when it, I'm not going to too boring stuff, but tax breaks and stuff like that. So they can sell stuff and tariffs and weird. It's all very complex. And then we get into the monotony of it all. But yeah, I love to go different places. The Sony play like I've I've been to, I I want to I want to go to Turkey myself mainly for the architecture and the food. Because you know if if you don't know anything about history, Turkey's had a lot of different, um, you know different things have happened in Turkey over the over time. I mean we're looking at it now I guess in some way through with Assassin's Creed Revelations that I'm playing, which I'll probably be playing tomorrow. A ghost on the train? Well, does this ghost have a ticket? I certainly do, and I bought one fair and square. My expense account. Yeah, I'd love to go. I'd love to go to all these different places. It's just having the time and resources to do so. But I want to go Turkey for like, like I said, for the architecture and the food. Just to like go around, have a look at all the stuff, and uh, I've not. I'd love to see like genuine. I'd love to eat some ter genuine Turkish food. I've had some over here, but obviously it's not what it is over there. You know, it's different. It, you, you know, pizza from here and pizza from Italy. Two completely different things. Well, we must get him something that benefits the station of my family. I have to have my reputation to think of, Sylvia. Argentina as well probably be a good place to, to, to go to. Me being into my football, I'd probably want to go there for, like, to see, like, to see like a lot of these stuff that happens over there in terms of the football. Well, that's the thing. I think everyone wants to go travel. It's just buying the. T it's just finding the time and the resources. You find it? What? A ghost? Eek! And he won't give you the blanket unless you get his diary from the baggage car. And uh, another thing as well is like say with, with time off and general money as well as well as the fact of. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I'm, like, I'm not a 
I think if you want to go to some places, it's it's nicer to go with someone else as well. Especially nowadays when you see when you see more and more things of people like have having like really bad experiences when they go abroad alone. You know, it's always nice to go with someone else and you can share those experiences as well. Maybe a friend, girlfriend, so forth. I don't know. I, I I'm the same. I don't like. I I want to go on holiday by myself. I I just end up doing what I would regularly do. Um, to be fair, I'm going in a month. I'm going to Romania for a cup for a few days, and then that that so that's that's going to be my first holiday in a good long while. I think over five years, longer than that if I think right think correctly. Um, and he won't give you the blank, and he won't give you the blanket until you get his diary from the baggage car. I see. Well, go on in. You don't. You don't say no to ghosts. Okay. This seems like an area. Yeah, exactly. When you have so many little lays, it's it be it's so hard to plan, especially abroad. You know, you're paying like um, there's so many things to keep in check. Like you've obviously got you get you've obviously got to get your Passport renewed in case. Then you've got to buy tickets for the flights, find flights, find an apart uh, find an apartment to stay in. Then you've got food. Um, speaking of food, we're in the food uh, in the food court, I guess. Um, then you've got food. You want to go all inclusive, something like that. Then you've got all your money to sort out. Ragged diary. Uh, then there's there's loads of things that, like having a holiday is so hard to plan out like I know um like unfortunately one of my family members recently has tried to go on holiday and they didn't renew the passports for the kids and that was a that was a that was a fun palaver of them basically waiting on um I try to think what it would be called I guess it's I try, it's not it's not revenue and cut it won't be revenue and customs over here it'd be a uh, foreign office trying to get the passports because well they forget because if you don't know the um child's passports renew shorter than the adult ones did you find the diary wonderful i knew you would now i cannot leave my post please return the diary while i stay here oh i would like to see what's written in it well uh <laughs> don't know if i can but i'm going to try Read the diary. We'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll. You may be cursed by the ghost. You want to read it anyway? What's the word? Hang on. Hang, okay. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. I found a way we can do the best of both worlds here. Um. To be fair, we got. I believe they got their passports with, within a week. They only missed out on a few days of their holiday. So it's... I criticise the government for a lot over here, but to be fair, I can't say when with the foreign office they did terribly. They didn't do... They did a good job. Okay. Uh, this is my room, so now we're in secrecy. And we've saved, correct? So now we can read the book. And no one will know. Maybe cursed by the ghost. You want to read it anyway? I'm sure. I mean, think about this. It's okay. Shh. Month X, day X, cloudy. I got on a train today, and on that train... You looked! Even though I told you not to. Now see what happens. Oh, damn. The screen changed. Well, good thing I saved. Because I thought that might happen. <laughs> Whew. That would have been annoying if I hadn't. Well then. Fortunate I saved, I guess. Yeah. Whew. Save came in clutch. Did you find my diary? Yes, this is my diary. Very well. Your blanket is right here. 
And Doctor's Blanket, about this he's freezing. You were very wise not to read my diary. Ho ho ho, if you had read it, you might be a spirit like me right now. But now I can go peacefully from, from this world. Thank you so much. You will probably never meet me again in this world. Fare thee well. Well, oh, I was expecting Jesus to accept him. Well, uh, may actually, maybe not. I've been here so long, I've gotten kind of used to it. The wallpaper's so great, maybe I'll stay here just a little while longer. I can't leave whenever, so that's all there is to it. Oh. I mean, if I was a ghost, I would spend my time pi uh, pissing people off mildly. Just because I find I'd find it immensely amusing. It's the same thing if I was invisible. If I had the power to turn invisible, you you have... Uh, I'd be I'd be pissing people off left, right, and center. I'd be pulling pranks on them all the time. I just it, it does not take much to get my amusement. I I would be like tripping people up and getting laughter out of that because how because to me just seeing someone fall over without like on without them doing anything to me it'd just be quite amusing. I can't help it. I'd whisper stuff in people's ears, just like random words, and see, like, like, like I'm in the wind, like I'm the wind. Oh, thank you so much. I'll be, I'll be comfortable tonight. Of course, our yummy and sticky mischief maker is still at large. Oh, hey, before I forget, this is a gesture of my thanks. Getting late, Mr. Mario. Perhaps you should rest in and turn for, turn in for the night. If anything happens, I'll report it to you immediately. Don't worry about a thing. I'm the conductor of the XS Express. Okay. Yeah, I'd just be whispering stuff in people's ears. Just to, like, my, just to mildly annoy them. So it was not, in fact, a yummy, sticky suspect, just as I suspected. The mystery deepens. It's getting rather late. Turn in, and we'll work on this case tomorrow. I'm trying to think what else I would do if I could just if I was a ghost. I see you peeping your eyes there. I'm doing prep work for tomorrow's meals, which will be plates of glory. Ah, oh, traitor's tongue. Doing prep work for tomorrow's meals. The kitchen is closed. Okay. Well, I guess they want me to rest. Yeah, let's leave everything else to the conductor and get some shut-eye, okay, Mario? Well, there's only two beds, Goombella, so, uh... Gonna have to squeeze in tightly. Well, technically, how many of the how many of us is there? There's, like, seven. And there's two beds, and, uh, I guess you could use the double... You could use the double chairs as a bed. How many of this is there? Yeah, there's a uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. So eight of us. Yeah, I don't think I think that's a tight squeeze for those for the, for this uh, living space. Someone will have to keep watch, I guess. Okay, now we've only got two mysteries. We've got to find. Some jewelry and oh, you've got mail. Okay, now who is delivering us the mail? And why am I an idiot and have gone past it? Oh, it's no, it's RDM issue issue five. Report today: local mystic, my lovely, age twenty-five, was taken to the hospital today, followed quickly by horde uh, by hordes of concerned fans. Luckily, according to a spokesperson for the hospital, my lovely suffered from nothing more than a severe case of indigestion caused by a wild binge on eight shroom steaks. The divine, the divine diviner, diviner? I don't know. Never seen that word before. Exclaimed that her aura was brimming with the power of steak. Mmm, tasty. 
But this reporter can't wonder, help wonder why she failed to predict that gastrointestinal adventure in the first place. I, 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 yeah. My lovely's my type of girl. I, 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 I'm a lover of steak too. Lover of meat anyway. I'm a, just get all that protein in my face. Beautiful. Shop, um, shop reporter go. This time it's to head to key, to key, keel hall gal galleria. We are proud to toast the un entrepreneurial spirit that the managerial team who brought free com uh, brought free commerce to deserted island. Um, I really wanted to do something that had never been done, gushed the unsinkable proprietor and former fight fan. So call me the invincible shopmaster from now on. I'm 100% serious. Print that. We w we wish him all the success he can grab with two hands and wrestle to the mat. Looking for rookies. Listen up, rookies. Because there's another intermediate level recipe. Today is a single serving of peach tart. Add a peachy peach and cake mix, stir, and bake. Try uh, try that at tea time, rookies. Um, Editor's note. Thanks for reading the, the best rag in the land. See you next issue. Well, okay then. Good morning. Say, Chance, have you seen my shell earrings anywhere? Hello, this is a good feeling day, isn't it, friend of mine? What a delicious day. I'll make food so delicious it'll make my day mad. Okay then. I suggest we continue on. Oh, is he accusing someone again? Ah, my dear Luigi, your timing is impeccable. A new case has arisen. Now uh, then, Mr. Businessman, please explain the facts to my dear assistant, Luigi. Uh, okay, uh, here, here's the deal. Uh, when I woke up this morning, my, uh, my briefcase was gone. It contained all the contracts for our next deal and, uh, even a new prototype. If I don't recover it, I'll lose my job at least. Now, now, calm yourself. The next part is vital, so very, so tell Luigi very, very slowly. He is an idiot, don't you know? Uh, of course. Our company's new product is nitro honey syrup. Used properly, it's an amazing product that can even raise the dead. But if mixed with, I'm trying to not burp into the microphone. Uh, but if it, if mixed with calcium from a sea, uh, seashell and a bit of gold. Well then, uh, the results are explosive. The resulting goo blast would immobilize everyone in, in a sticky yet yummy shellac. Falling into the wrong hands, well, I, I could lose more than my, just my job. Let's examine the facts, shall we? Someone has stolen your briefcase. Well done. Though you definitely had it yesterday. And the train has not stopped this whole time in the intervening time. I have it. It's rudimentary, my dear Luigi. Rudimentary. Thief is still on the train. Aha. Luigi, have you spoken to the waitress and, ca and, and the lady in cabin too? They have both lost something on this train. The waitress lost shell earrings. The Lady Toodles lost a gold ring. Luigi, if the same person stole those objects, then... Uh, stole those objects, also has the Nitro Honey Syrup. They could make this goo blast. They could carry out the threat in the note. So it is simple, Luigi. You must find that thief. You must apprehend the suspect before this dastardly plan gets put into effect. Okay, then. Oh, Detective Mario, so, so, nothing suspicious during the night. Stopping at Rare Side Station today around dusk, I believe. Interesting. Hope the morning to you, Gonzalez. I'm afraid you saw us arguing worst yesterday. I feel rather ashamed. Little Bob sure has it has been in high spirits yesterday. I wonder why he's so happy. Good morning, mister. Thanks for the autograph yesterday. You're welcome, child. Now don't explode on me. Alrighty then. 
There's one op op option, Luigi. You must find that thief. You must apprehend the suspect before this dastardly plan gets put into effect. Okay. Maybe the Ratui will give us a... A bit of a hint? No, not good, not good. If I don't find that thing, I'll be sacked for sure. Well, you're about as useless as a chocolate fire guard. Or useful, I should say. Nope. Nothing yet. Hello, it's a good feeling day, isn't it, real friend of mine? Ah, oh, delicious day. It'll make food so delicious, it'll make your day mad. Ho oh. ho. You see that zip toad came, came uh, you see that zip toad who came to last night's dinner? I really have to say he's like way cuter than on the big screen. Maybe they all are. Damn right they are. I mean, this, this chin that I have wasn't just, mm. Chiseled by Aphrodite herself. You know, that's why I don't use a camera, because if you saw my face, you'd just, you know, erupt into pure euphoria. Also, I'm lazy and can't be bothered setting it up. And I don't have this and I don't have the I don't think I have the space for it at this time. But definitely the first one. The first one is the most important reason. Hell, morning, Mario. You've been to the dining car yet? Can't believe I stole that pot of stew. It was like a bad, chowdery nightmare. But thanks to that instance, the cook and I are pals now. Isn't life weird? Well, yeah, at least you enjoy his cooking so much that he's now your friend. Okay. Well, hello there, you cute cully bear of a man. You're delightful. You found my gold ring. Don't grow desperate now. I'm quite sure you'll be able to find it. Well, okay then. I'll trust your intuition. Huh? File paper. Looks like something very important and complicated. There are several postcards and glossies featuring zip turn side. Okay, and then what's the important thing? Vile paper looks like something very complicated. Okay, and then. Well, I suggest we probably take this back to the guy. You know what I should be doing, actually? For the sake of convenience. Onward, tiny boy. Ride me to where, I, where, where you need to go, or where I need to go. Use your little boots. Again, I do like just just simple things like this though, like having a different Yoshi, depending on a um, depending on how like a different colored Yoshi, depending on how the or when what time you actually get the egg to when you I believe hatch the egg. I think it's from when you get it to when you hatch it, or when you beat the um, those big clefts that do it. zero damage. Nice, those nice little quality of life things like that add just little features to the game. Have you stumbled upon any new clues? This is vital paper of sorts. Hmm, what sort of clue is this supposed to be? Ah, that's one of the contracts for my upcoming business deal. What? What I mean, yes, um, just as I suspected. Luigi, where did you find this very important clue? Cabin 1, you say? Hmm, Zipto's room. Place I have long suspected. Come to think of it, I believe I've seen him today. And perhaps he is hiding somewhere on the train. Always one step ahead. Ah, oh, my dear Luigi. Find that zip toe. Is he here? Well, which decision? Oh, get it, getting the Yoshi? Or which colored Yoshi you want? All depends on which, on which, I, I guess, which one you got. I mean, I got the red one. Which, to be fair, uh, having now seen all of them, after looking it up, I think this Yoshi probably is my favorite. It's the baggage car, I believe you well know. No passengers allowed. Well, you allowed me in there yesterday. 
So, uh, what's up with that? You know what I might do? I might go a little bit longer today and we'll only do Paper Mario. Uh, because I've, I've, I've been thinking about it. Oh, it's around 10 you named him Fatso. <laughs> well, I named him Joey because I was originally going to give him the, the Joey Wheeler accent. The, 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 the harsh Brooklyn accent, Yug. And gotta find Zip Toad. I assume he's in number one. Uh, is this another thing where I do the uh, good old Vivian trick? Yes? No? Maybe so? I don't think so. I, the only problem I have with this game so far is I have so many. Like friends that I've like some of them I don't use like it's like if I'm gonna okay if I'm gonna use anything for Tatlin I'm gonna use Goombella if I'm gonna use something for to hit all the guys I'm probably gonna be using Coops if I need to get something off a, an opponent I'm gonna be using Miss Mouse if I'm gonna need to hit one guy for a lot of damage I'm gonna be using Bobbery I mean Vivian and Joey does a lot of damage as well. It's kind of Vivian and Flurry and Miss Mouse in an attacking sense. They all get left behind. Maybe it's I maybe they get better with the ultra rank, but so far, like, this I see it I'm seeing a definite gap between partners. Like of course Goombella is the is the for me my favourite. Good morning to you, sir. Did you sleep well? Well I'll be making a stop at Riverside Station today. You'll love it, I assure you. Um I think, I mean, don't get me wrong, they have their uses, but apart from the obvious use outside of battle, and Miss Mouse's in battle, uh, it's, you know, this is what it is. Like I, like I said, I, I like using Goombella, Koops, and Yoshi, hence why I upgraded them to Ultra Rank first. They're just so damn useful. And they do a lot of, they can't, they have, they have the ability to do a lot of damage. Now, don't grow desperate now. I'm sure you'll be able to find it. Okay, what am I looking for? I feel like we've been everywhere, correct? Must have to go back to, like, the cart or something. Or even the dining cart of that cat. I I stole it, it? Done that, done that, done that. I've not found Zip Toad yet. I'm assuming he might be in the diner. I definitely agree with you though, some of them in field is more like, well even look at this now, like Rally Wink is basically allowing Mario to do a, a new move. Shell Slam I assume is a more powerful shell shield, I've not used it yet. And Stampede seems to be pretty good as well. Like, I know Bobbery's pretty good, but Bobbery hasn't got like the Bombette sort of use. Where she can explode the field for a lot of FP, which is a bit of a shame. Like, so, I'd, if I was ranking guys, I'd... Oh, hello there. Could this be another clue? This document is told like another one. This bag must be here somewhere. Hmm. Ah, they in the draw. Okay, well, I guess we must, uh... Surprise. Oh, where'd you come from? You can't be catching me that easily, guy. Or that... Yeah. Oh, damn. He's got some moves. He's like the Tom Cruise of, uh, of, of Toad Actors. He does all of his own stunts. Yeah! So this was our man all along, pretending to be zip -toed, I see. All the while, pilfering things from others to aid your evil plan. Hm. It's all just as 
I had, just, just as I had deduced. I knew all along you were a fake, I just colored nostril hair tipped me off. Not only that, but I knew you were the one who fretted Luigi. Uh, uh, curses. I almost got away with by it getting off at Riverside Station, too. Yes, you played a daring and ingenious little game, my false friend. But the jig is up now, fiend, and the good people on this train are now safe. That is correct, sir. No one escapes from the improbably la from this improbably large brain. Um, <clears throat> in any case, at least return what you have stolen, Fink. Blah. Oh, blah. <laughs> I got a briefcase. Do I also get the uh, earrings? I got a gold, gold ring and some earrings. Ah, my precious briefcase. Is that a nitro honey? Is the nitro honey syrup safe? Briefcase was returned. Oh, thank you. Guess saying the stars is safe. I won't get the sack. Our rendezvous with disaster has been diffused by the most rudimentary of deductions. Ping bong, ping bong. Attention all pa or attention all passengers. This train will soon make a brief scheduled stop at Riverside Station. Okay, here we go. I don't know how long we've got to go, like, until we get to Poshley Heights. If it's only like a half an hour more, I'll probably play until we get to Poshley Heights and then we'll separate it into those two sections. Oh, it's Fingy! I should have actually clicked with that as soon as he said imposter. Uh, what was the voice I give? Hey, I think not, Slick. Think you can hold me? No way Beldum would flip if I let that happen. It's Dupless. Yeah, this whole zip-toed thing was just a means to an end. It's me, suckers, Dupless. Beldum's plan to gooify Mario didn't exactly work, so I'll be cutting and running now. I'll leave the rest to Beldum. See you, suckers. Well, splendid. I guess we can go to Riverside Station now. Although, we have to, um... Deliver the things first. Or oh, we should deliver the things first. The earring and the, uh... What's it called? Capping what it's called, the ring. Idiot. Can't remember simple words. Okay, and I found it! Have you found my gold ring, you you mystery-sniffing master? Yes, that is definitely the ring I lost. Thank you, you glorious creature. I knew you would find it without fail. It's merely a trifle, but please take this as my earnest thanks. Coins. And you do take care. We're gonna gather up our coins. We've got to work on getting, like, Hammerman. And... Other thing... The, the, oh yeah, the emblems. If I'm gonna get all the badges, I need to, you know, I need to knuckle down and, and work on getting those, getting those lovely coins. Any, any other badges we can get from the lovely house, or that we can get from, um, Pianta Place. So I, I think going off what I've checked when we bought those, when we got those two cards that are here. These two. Uh, I believe that they open up different things. Well, they open up more uh, badges to you, can, you can get in the Pianta place, it seems. Did you find them, my shell earrings? Yes. Oh, there they are. My, my earrings, thank you so much. And before I forget, take this as thanks. Oh. Oh, well, thank you. You're like the nicest old mustached overall wearing guy I've ever met. I'm not old. Mar Mario is like the kind of Burt Reynolds, where he's timeless. He just has the mustache. H hence the Magnum P.I. Okay, and well, I suggest we probably should leave. Just wanted to deliver the key items first.
Uh, where was the door again? It was here, I want to say? I believe so. Yeah, thinking of uh, going just a little bit longer today and making this like a long like three hour stream on Paper Mario and just not doing the Among the Sleep because like I said, I'm not, I'm a bit tired. I've not got, to, speaking of sleep, I've not got much of it recently. So cool, I want to drive it right now. Doodle of a Bob really likes trains, does he? Where does he want, where does one buy a train? Um, I don't know, if I wanted a train, I'd buy one of those steam trains though. Oh, we're completely cooped up in here, brewing staler or too long. I want to go out and take a walk, I could build an appetite for dinner. Oh no, what'll we do? Some days, somebody's lifted the drawbridge and the train can't leave the station like this. Oh yes, at the train store, of course. Yes, of course, you just walk in to the train store and buy a train. You know when you walk, you know when you just walk, you know, like, as, as we all know, train stores are very affluent around in Britain. You know, it's just like, you go to any, any, like, any town, any, like, um, town centre, and, you know, you've got, like, your boots, your health care, your shop, your clothing shops, gaming shops, and then right next to the train store. And you can just view the trains. One-to-one -one scale, they all fit inside, it's like the TARDIS. I saw a suspiciously lucky shadowy person wearing a hat go into the station. Must have gone down to the bridge control room to flip the switch there. That switch hasn't been used in so long and I don't know where the control room is. So it's probably against protocol to ask a passenger to do this, but since you are the famous Mario and all, did you find and throw that switch? Yes. Really, that would be super. Here's the station key. Thank you so much. Oh, my dear Luigi. The suspect was not only a fake zip toad. Uh, um, he was some monstrous being in a white sheet, which was exactly as I planned. Too bad he gave us the slip like that, though he was a slippery sort. We could have questioned him about the uh, questioned him about all of the Beldum business. This is Riverside Station, and we're supposed to stop for refuel. We drawbridge here when um. And pleasure boats cruise to the canal. Hasn't been used since the canal was dried up and turned to pasture. This is Riverside Station. It's one of the places where the X XS Express stops. This place is famous for its scenic beauty. It's a sunset, you know. Just one more of the many pleasures the XS Express XS Express passengers have to enjoy. Okay, and well, enter. Okay, well that's what, close call P? Anyway. Gotta be sure. Gotta check everywhere. Right. How do we get up there then? Hmm. Alrighty then. I don't think we can get to the elevator right now. We're inside Riverside Station. This place has been out of use for a while, I think. All these solitary light bulbs hanging from the ceiling. It's so shabby chic. Ah, uh, I'm not really one who cares that much for that stuff. I want lights. I can see I'm happy. Something tells me the station key won't work. Alright. Oh, uh... Now roll up. And slam. Splendid. And there's nothing to the left because things has told us. Hmm. 
like I said, once we get to Poshley Heights, I think that's when we'll end. For today. Oh, finally some bows. Inside Rio Town Station, this place has been out a while, I think. I think, like, okay, never mind. Same place. Got it. Damn it. Finally, a battle. Okay, and as we always do with new enemies. Get your book out and start tattling. This is a rough puff. Don't confuse them with dark puffs. Oh, I don't think this and uh, the w world would end up would end if you did confuse them anyway. Max HP is 7 attacks, 4 in defense is 0. They swoop and charge themselves with electricity before unleashing lightning. I if you touch them while they charge, you get a shock. Well, time to use my 2 FP power bounce. Where I fail. Um, well... Oh, we're Bobbery, and because we are affluent in star power at the moment, we could always go for. I mean, there's an Earth Tremor, but I'm I'm feeling an Art Attack. But Earth Tremor probably just to just to you know save save some save some star points. Bear in mind, I could screw this up. I said I am tired. My reactions are dulled. Ah. Hopefully that killed the small guy and just enough so he can bomb the other one and get away with it. That's why that's why I like Bobbery, because he can hit and not have to uh, touch the opponent, which is very useful. Oh, there's another one of you fellas. Okay, and then I'll well, prepare to be multi bounced. And I think because of, yeah, work from work, because those guys are higher up, I can't hit them. Fortunately, I can do that. Damn it. Fortunately enough, he didn't use his item. Uh, I guess what we'll do then is we shall swap partner, get a Miss Mouse. Can't use Kiss V, so what's the what's the sudden point? Um, we'll appeal. And we'll just kill. And I'll take all of the coins. See, already at a hundred. We can probably invest in a new badge if we find one. Still that one hammer badge I'm missing. I know it's redundant because we're using Jumpman at the moment. I'm probably going to switch it up and go into some power piece. And once I get that second power, I'm probably going to go for that. Oh, come on, dude. Alright, I assume I have to Yoshi our way there then. This is the other side of the big clock. Lots of endlessly moving gears. Lovely clock counting to the endless progression of hours uh, heard by no one. Okay, uh, where is it? God damn it. I will do this. I'm a big boy. Jumping puzzles for children will not screw me over. And so it seems like I need to get on him pretty quick and then try and hover across. Thank you, Joey, for taking your sweet time. So I don't think I can... I think I need to hop across first. 
Damn. Ugh, crap, I screwed it up. I got on and then got off again. It is what it is, though. God damn it. Not giving me enough time. Must be a different. Must be a short. Was... Hmm, there must be a, a way to get over this, and I'm just not thinking about it because I'm stupid. Oh, it's this close. Okay, now we could just do that. That works. I have a feeling there's going to be something here. I guess I can't go that way. Okay, okay, right, I, I understand. Puzzle. Platforming puzzle. Hmm? Oh, I just have to use coops, don't I? It's only an item. Yeah, okay. Fair play. Okay, come on, work with me now, please. And game is not working with me now, because now it's not even jumping when I want. Right. Coops. Good enough for me. Right. Now I've got the station key. Now we go back. I don't think there was any other key. Oh yeah, there was this one here. We're on the out, um, the, we're on the out, uh, outer stairs. The door at the bottom leads to an underground office. Listen, Mario, don't spend time worrying about the posters that'll blow away in the end. Just take it in just take in this killer sunset before the next back eye appointment. You know what? I will. I will. Oh, dude. Oh, really? Okay, fine. Okay, new enemy. That's a poison, Pokey. You probably guessed it, but it's a poisonous Pokey. Your max HP is 8, attacks 4, and defense is 0. If poisoned, your HP will slowly drain. You may want to avoid that. I'm sure you can see this, but they don't have spines all over, so don't touch them. Maybe smiling, but it doesn't mean they're happy to see you. Okay, well, I'm going to go for the old-fashioned power bounce. And get rid of one of those guys. Uh, same again? Oh, what we'll do is we'll just appeal. Get to max uh, star power. And Wunderbar. Got you that time. Hmm. Ah. There's only one more. Uh, okay, now. Right.
damn it. Better. Okay, let's go for a bit of teamwork here, Koops. I'll bring the multi-bounce. You bring the power shell. Damn, that's five. I could have just used the, fat, the power shell. Get how powerful Koops is now. If it's, oh, and there's just random blocks like that now. I'm just I'm just checking around them. If I, I was going to jump on it first, and then it, it, obviously that didn't give me anything. I was going to do the Koops thing of uh, just hitting it. Ah, damn it. Okay, and a mixture of the teams. Get rid of the pokey. Damn it. Well, there we go. Oh. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, you, you do what you gotta do. If you're working, you're working. Can't help it. More important things than listening to me prattle on. Yeah, they all well they all count, don't they? Look, if you, I I I look, I look all the time, just when I'm when I'm busy listening to stuff. I wanna clear this area. I wanna see if there's any uh goodies. I'm not able to do that when there's friends here. then. Let's try a strikes all ground enemies piercing their defenses. Well these guys have no defense scoop so I don't think that's gonna help. Oh, I felt like I had that. I hit that. Oh I'm not having that. Uh, go into Goombella, and then we'll probably Sweet Feast. May as well just use it, we can get the star points back by appealing. a full heal. Go for Bobbery. And light him up. Quick change. One of the best badges around. But I wasn't paying attention, which is why I got hit by falling debris behind me. Did I actually get the spin jump this that time around? I'm right I did. And of course, make my job a little bit harder, why don't you? Two. 
don't know why I thought I'd do more damage then. Or oh, do enough damage with a four. Like I said, I need to put some um some of the power the powers on. To up my on my attack. I mean we can probably take off a couple of damage dodges and just suffer. We'll probably be doing better because of it. Right. Now let's check. Surely there's got to be one here, right? No? Seriously? Oh, hello there. Hang on. What's this? Right then. Well, there's a, there's a HP plus up there, which I want. Keep going. Okay, now we've got that. Splendid. But now I want to go back up just to see if there's, cause there's a ledge up there. And I would like to see if I can get that HP plus. Not that I need it. I think I already have one. But, um, you know, I just want to take it off my box. Just in case we, you know, we ever need to swap around our stuff yeah it's there but how do we drop down to the hmm give me time i'll think of something it's a riverside station garbage dump talk about an annoying place to navigate smells like running goom nuts it's amazing how much people throw away should be a door to the underground office somewhere down here Oh, more friends. Okay, may as well get rid of you while you're here. And um, Tattle, because I thought we I thought we might have got these guys, but probably not. That's a spiky parabuzzy. With a spike in wings. Next HP's five, attack screen defense is four. Hey, that's the same stats as normal, Buzzy. Iron explosions don't work on Buzzies in case you've forgotten. This one flies through the air and has a spike. What a total pain. You do better use better use this iron or a special move. Oh! Knock them on their ass. Okay, now is probably time to use a special move. A clock out or an earthquake that we got we just got. Try and free up some of my uh, inventory, why don't we? Didn't realize how close we were to another level. Bad points. Damn it. Well, um, Bobbery has it. Bobbery can flip them over, can't he? No. Got it. And next time we're using clock out. Like I said, this time we're using clock out. I just not clock out. Earth tremor, you pill it. Right, give me a minute.
on me for being a moron. Oh, let's try Shell Smash. Or Shell Slam, I should say. Damn. Beautiful. Forget it. I forget that it says it, ign it ignore ignores defenses. I was like, mm, okay, let's try it out. Okay, now. Okay, well, that's a steep drop. What happens if we go down here instead? Alright. Okay, and I can jump. Lovely. There's a badge down here as well that I want. You'll see why soon. Damn it. Platforming, not my strong suit. And this is where the badge is. P up, D down. Boost my attack power by one, but drops his defense by one. Which, as I always said, if I can hit, hit for, if I can hit harder, I'd gladly take. Um. Hmm. What do I take off? I mean, I do like pretty lucky. Do I take off super appeal. Put on another pretty lucky and just ride the pretty lucky train. I mean, technically, I could take off both pretty luckies and go for another flower saver. But I don't know how that stacks. Does that mean I do multi bonk now for zero? Hang on, just gotta check something. It's a big enough area. Well, we're going places. May as well take all these guys as well. Okay, but now we should do four then, correct? See, wonderful. And oops, if you'll be so kind as to power shell. Oh, now we're in business. Ah, try to avoid you. Alrighty then. Like I said, does that count? See now it got see all it does is but it counts that still counts as one FP, but then now this counts as one FP as well. Which is nice, but I think it's a waste of four badge points. So since it's two FP, I'm not really losing anything, am I? Um What I will do is I will use Earth Tremor. Try and get rid of you. Just enough. I also want to check this area just in case. I love the fact that I hit for that much damage now. 
Damn it, I tried to be clever and do the quick bump. I've been watching speedrunners a little bit. Just to see like just to see if I could pick up any tricks. Okay, and so there's a way to get down there. And that is the way back up. So. Damn it. I did press A, but I just didn't react. Come on. Again, just didn't react. You gotta work with me, game. Come on, buddy. See, I wanna know how you get across to there. See, I was trying to jump then, it wouldn't allow me to. Come on. Ah, it's because I delayed it too much. I was trying to slow it down so I could get on the top bit and then hop over the, the gap. How? How did I do that? I don't know, but I'm taking it. Oh, never mind. It just leads us out to nowhere. So it's a dead end. Thank you, game, so much for that. Needed that. Made me feel really good about myself. Okay, now just fall on this side. And we go here. What does this lead us? No idea. And we got another dried shroom. Oh, I may as well uh, eat all these just to, just to, you know, bit low on health. Yeah, I didn't know we were playing Sonic today. Well, if you're Nintendo, you're gonna steal, steal from the best. So if I need dried shrooms for something later, I'm gonna throttle myself. Hi, dude. How we doing? Okay, and this is for the multi bounce. Splendid. Now I want to. Uh, probably appeal, actually. Damn it. Damn it. So I wanted to go for the thingy attack. Can't, I, can I go for uh, I can't go for Shell Slam. Damn it. I, didn't, I was trying to test something out. Didn't work out the way I thought it would do. Uh, okay, and we're out. Let's use an Earth Tremor and we'll be gone. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, damn it. Well, it should be enough anyway. They're giving us all the stars. I'm going to take all the stars. Can't help. Can't help it. It's 
slow shroom as well. That's nice. Still no star, star sprites, star spirits, whatever. This is the Riverside Station garbage dome. Talk about another place to navigate. It's fine. Oh, I've just realized how I could get the HP plus. I want to go back now. This is the Riverside Station office, but there doesn't seem to be anyone here. Hey, now that I think about it, um, where they put an op why did they put an office down here anyway? Not am I not supposed to bring that up? Probably not. Hang on, I see something. But we'll give it a moment. Okay. Well, I just want to check out something first, because if you notice, there's a little bit of a thing here. No? Oh, I thought I was being clever. Oh well. Can I uh, use Flurry here, maybe? Blow off the boards and the stuff. Okay, and do I not bomb them? No? Oh well, I thought that might work. Oh well. Strange the Goombas are here. Right, um... I'm going to appeal. And then realize I took off super appeal and instantly regret my decision. Um... Right, now... Lovely. Thing is, why are they putting Goombas here though? Because Goombas are such a weak enemy to put in earlier, put in at this point in the game. Must be a reason or something. This is the Riverside Station Records Room. They file all the station's business here. At least that's what I think they do. Yep, these are probably files, not to change the subject. Did you know you have to hit some switches at a certain number of times? Yeah, kind of came out of left field, but I was wondering if you knew that. All right, should be simple enough. Oh, damn it! I pressed the X and it was a super shrew. Idiot. Oh well. At least we're getting our, just getting our star power back. Damn it. Okay, and I'm going for the multi bounce. Save me some time. Okay. Sorted, right? Just hit them a bunch of times. And that reveals a staircase. And now... Really? Okay. Checking there's nothing I can interact with there. Uh, can I just coops this? That I can. Ooh, 
Ooh, hello there. Ooh, ultra boots, okay. Weird place to put them, but up, I'll give it. Hey, it's me again, Toadette. It's nice to see you again. Now you got the ultra boots. Jump attacks way, will go way, way up. You can use a new jump technique, too. Let's practice it right now. I know it's a little hard, I know, but you'll get it. Just hold down A and rotate them this, and you'll be fine to make your body fold up. Then release A to do a giant spring jump. Remember, though, you need to rotate a lot before you release A, okay? Hold down A, okay. I'm holding down A. This is my A button. I'm holding down. And it's not recognized. Go on, do it. Okay, and I apparently have to wait a few seconds. Yes! Spring jump can help you reach new areas that, since you can grab pipes above you. Move left or right and move along a pipe and press B to get, get hold of a pipe. Okay. Way to go, Mario. That was very well done. You want to try again? No, nope, Bob got it. Okay, you mastered the spring jump. Now grab pipes on the ceiling now. You're sure you'll get a lot of access to new areas. Um, the spring jump also lets you attack up blocks, attack blocks and other things in high places. Oh yeah, and you can use the spring jump in battle too. See you next time, I guess, and good luck on your quest. So now I hit, well, what's my jumping power? Am I like a power of five? I'm hitting for standard damage. Okay, and then, well, let's try this out. I'm like a coiled spring. Oh, I'm trying to go up to that pipe. Oh, yeah, my depth. See what I mean? My depth perception is awful. Yahoo! Okay. Oh, I assume I have to do it here. Right, got it. Brown things are bad. It's the Riverside Station office, but there doesn't seem to be anyone around here. Hey, and now that I think of it, why would they put an office down here anyway? Well, I was supposed- Well, was I not supposed to bring that up? Fold yourself up like an accordion, Mario. And try not to do that. I thought I was on the line. There we go. Okay, and we're back here. Now I can do a... Um... Okay, now, hang on a minute. Hang on, uno momento, por favor. Now I can do this. Uh, followed by... This. And hopefully... Joey, do you mind doing me a favor, buddy? Just, just, yeah, just get in that for me. If you won't be a, if you be a darling. Probably not. That works too. And so, how do I get back out? Same way I came in? Same way I came in. And I feel... Like... That is everything. I still can't believe we're not. There's no, um... Staffings. Okay, I'm gonna try and do this, because where the health one is. It's where that health bit is. So how the hell do I get up there? Nothing to grab onto. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. So how the hell do I get there then? I don't think I can go through these.
Oh, I see. Never mind. You have to roll it. Roll through. See, I'm a smart bugger, me. Big brained. Hundred percent, on hundred and ten percent IQ, rock in there. Pump all my stats into the IQ. Uh, before we go out, though, I believe there's something else up here. Yes, this. Now I think we already have close call P. Oh, wrong one. That's the hammer. I like the little thing he does as well, the little hee. Okay, so that's the elevator key. Splendid. Now what was up here? Can't remember, but I probably should go into the elevator. Use the elevator key. Lovely. And we're going down. Oh. Well, hello there. Well, Mario. What are these things doing doing here? They're disgusting. Think these gross things flipped the switch? Let's hurry up and find it so we can switch it back. Okay, well, I suppose we have to hammer. Okay, there we go. And now they disperse. Splendid. One of that. Reveals that. Now surely there must be a staffing here. Really? No? Okay. I guess we're all wrong. And I assume that unlocks that. Lovely. So I think with that out of the way, that should be it. Well, today, at least. So what we'll do, get out of here. And we'll save for now. And that will be all for today. So I want to thank you guys for watching. For people on Twitch, all these get archived to YouTube, BitChute and Rumble. Links should be in the About section if you ever want to watch uh, watch anything that I do or you miss a stream. Um, people on those platforms, as I've just mentioned, this is all streamed live from Twitch. There should be a link in the description of every video that I do to the Twitch channel as well as any other platform you wish to watch me on I would like to thank you for you know uh, for, for, before I thank you for watching one final time I'd like to uh, like ask you to please like comment subscribe all that good stuff uh, it does help me out in the algorithm and I do interact with the comments when I can uh, but for now I'd like to thank you for watching one final time and bye bye <laughs>